All right, so a quick overview. I'm going to go over a quick little welcome, um, my story, why Young Living. Then we'll go into the three methods of use and we'll discuss the most versatile essential oils. And then we'll talk a little bit about what's happening in June. Every month we have some different things. And then we'll touch on some resources and education. And then I'll open it up to questions and answers. Okay, so this is one of my favorites and most nearest and dearest to my heart. This is my why. So this is why I actually chose to do this business of Young Living and um, what got me started as well in just using the essential oils. So there is a picture of my family here on the right, as you see, that's my husband, Oran, my oldest daughter, Mika, who's 10, Sage, who is almost eight, and myself, and that's here in South Africa. That picture was taken here on a, on a safari, a game reserve. So anyhow, these pictures, I kind of chose these ones because it was somewhere around this time where my younger daughter, Sage, wasn't well, and she was having temperatures. And um, after day three of her not being well, she I, I took her to the pediatrician, and the pediatrician said, okay, you're going to, we, we checked her out from head to toe, and then actually said, you know what, come back in two days if she's not better. We don't know what's wrong, but definitely just continue to give her some pain medication, and then we'll see what happens, you know, if she, she should be, she should get better after that. So anyway, I went off, took that advice and um, two days later was back at the pediatrician because she wasn't better. So I went to ask them again, what do you think is going on with her? And they checked her again, head to toe. Anyway, they still couldn't find an answer. And on my way, on my drive home, she actually had a seizure in the car, febrile seizure. And what was so crazy, and I do love sharing this part. Actually, that's funny. I have a little picture of her on my phone here. But I actually had a picture of her on my lock screen. I had Mika on my backdrop. Anyway, I picked up my phone to call my husband and just let him know at a red light that we don't know what's going on with her. And the actual picture of her started to jerk up, down, left, right, because she was in the car and she was rear facing. And I couldn't actually see her. So the second I saw that image going mad, which was just bizarre, it's never, ever happened before. It's actually not happened since. And it only ever happened then. And while it was happening, the word seizure like popped into my head. And I just thought like, she's having a seizure. My child's so I look back and I saw her leg jerking and I just knew. So I really feel like it was a very strange moment where I believe that her little soul was telling me that she was in trouble and something was wrong. Anyway, I jumped out, I quickly pulled over into the nearest gas station. I was living in the United States at the time and it's a petrol station. And I just came around to her and completely saw she was, you know, not fully there, having a full seizure, eyes rolled back, kind of foaming at the mouth, body was jerking. And I just knew, take off her sweatshirts. I don't know how I knew it was all instinctive. And then I thought, well, I better fly right back to the pediatrician's office and let them know and see what the next steps are. So that's exactly what I did. And when I got there, it was honestly the first time that I felt quite frustrated with Western medicine, if you will, because I just felt that there was so much like, are you sure that's what happened? Are you sure? You know, it felt like they were questioning me. Um, and I totally understand they want to be quite careful with what they recommend or how they diagnose. But anyway, um, she did go and fully check her and said, you know what, you're right. She did indeed have a febrile seizure. And at this stage, we really recommend that you actually put her on pain medication every four hours to just control that temperature. So that's what I proceeded to do. And then she recommended as well that I take her to the ER to just get her fully checked and tested and make sure that there's nothing serious like a meningitis or something that we're not seeing visibly. So I did all those things. And thankfully we had, we, we had no, nothing was positive for her in, in terms of the testing. So she was negative for meningitis and all these other potential viruses and things that maybe we don't mm -hmm. see. Meanwhile, I continued to um, I continued to give her the medication, and I'm just muting some of you guys. Sorry, I can hear the background noise. Um, there we go. So, and if you see your own 
yeah, you can mute yourselves too, if you don't mind, if you see it and mute. I will give you a chance to ask questions though at the end. Anyway, so I um, was doing everything the pediatrician was saying and this poor little girl was just not getting better. So then I remembered that a good friend of mine, her name was Corey, had this, has a sister, Stacy, And Stacy wrote a post once on Facebook that said, I really love what I get to do. There's nothing better than educating people about health and wellness. And I get to do this from wherever I want. And it's an amazing opportunity. Um, and was talking about how she works with essential oils and educates about it. So I read that post like probably nine months before this incident and just suddenly I knew that's who I need to speak to. So I got in touch with Stacy, who I'd only ever met once before. And we actually spoke for about an hour. She was the most helpful. And I felt like I was getting far more answers and help from her than I was at any doctor and at any doctor's visit. Anyhow, she said to me, I really recommend you invest in the premium starter bundle, which I'm going to talk about. And I really think it's going to help you not only um, for your daughter, but there's so many other things in there to help with upset stomach headaches, all these different things. So I proceeded to, um, I'm sorry, so I purchased the premium starter bundle and about three weeks after having it, she did actually get a um, temperature again after a nap and I used peppermint oil. It was one drop of peppermint oil in a full carrier so you in a full roller bottle I mean sorry filled with carrier oil so if you look at this bottom picture here where she's actually reaching for it <laughs> that was me just showing all that I used for her one drop of peppermint oil which is in my hand there in a 10 mil roller and that was exactly the roller that I made and I used for her after she had this temperature and can I tell you that her temperature went away? Well, I was in absolute disbelief. I wrote to Stacy. I said, you won't believe it. Her temperature's like she had a temperature and then it went away, but I'm still not sure. So I'm going to keep the medicine outside her room. And if she needs to, and she, you know, the, the fever comes back and she wakes up at night, I'm going to give her some medicine because I don't want to have her have the seizure so she said I totally understand you know you do what feels best and that's what I did so I rolled her the, before she went to bed that night sorry I want to just mention that she definitely had a temperature because I started to question like did she actually have a temperature or was I just imagining things she definitely did because you know how you get worse at night when you're not well so her fever returned and what I noticed is I then used the roller on her again down her spine and around her belly. And that's really important. This is why I do young, love Young Living because it, you get someone who's going to hold your hand and help you. And if they don't know, they're going to ask someone who does know. So even if they're quite new, they'll learn with you. And that's what's really awesome. So anyway, Stacy had taught me, this is where you put it. And, and I felt equipped. I felt really empowered. So my daughter Sage slept that night for 12 and a half hours, did not wake up at all and woke up the next day 100% fever free and she was not sick anymore so they work really quickly and I'm going to go into like why that is why that actually works and how these oils work and from that day which was I mean she was 16 months old and she is now as you can see in this picture she's nearly eight so since that day we are a drag free home so we don't use any medications not for headaches not for period pain not for body pain, not for sinus issues, not for allergies. We use our essential oils for all of these things and more. And the interesting thing that I have found is we often are able to skip over illnesses that a lot of our kids' friends have or my friends have. Or if we do get sick, it's quite short-lived. So that was a huge difference. And I really, really saw that with having one child who went through preschool and then having my second child who around 16 months, we started using these. I'm telling you guys, both of them got like HFM, you know, hand, foot, mouth. And we were actually going to fly from the States to South Africa. I was freaking out. And I went to the pediatrician to just check these little dots and to confirm. They said, oh, yeah, that's hand, foot and mouth. That's the start of it. And as soon as they told me that and I knew the diagnosis, I was then able to look up, well, what essential oils are good for this? I made a roller for them. None of their blisters ever developed further. And we flew like a day or two later. They were 100% fine. I'm talking 100%. Okay, not even one, no, none of their blisters even developed. So that's been 
this is why I'm so passionate about it. So I just wanted to share that. And it's really super important that you understand that and, and you know, make sense for you. And did I actually mention that my name is Jade? Sorry. So my name is Jade Almale. And like I spoke about my family and my whole story, but I forgot to say that. And I've also been using Young Living for about six years now. So we use that in my family. I did not know that there was a business opportunity. That's not what I was looking for. But I was so passionate about them. Um, so I referred like the essential oils to two good friends because they knew what I went through. And Young Living sent me a check to thank me because every time somebody enrolls, you get a unique member number. And if you have a friend or you have someone who you know, oh, they might benefit from this or they might love it, you would just give them your member number. And that's the way Young Living knows who to actually pay and thank because the, the goal and hope is that you're going to take care of that person. Okay, so let's go into a little bit more of the science. So this is going to be the fun part, and I'm going to ask you guys to bear with me. Some people love the science. Um, others feel like it can be a little bit much, but here we go. I think it's super important to understand what these are and do they really work? So not to get too sciencey, but it's an important topic. It's all good and fun to hear a thousand times that essential oils work, but we get it. You actually want to know how and why. So grab your nerdy specs and get ready for a mini lesson on essential oils, why they're so special and why you probably know of a few crazy oil obsessed people, but you might not fully understand their passion yet. Don't worry, you'll be one soon enough. And here's why they work. So oils work when they enter the body by inhalation, basically when you smell them, absorption, when you apply them, or ingestion, when you eat them. So more on these, we'll talk about it later. But because the body recognizes oils as nutrients, they work synergistically to help support our natural healing response. In contrast, synthetic chemicals are recognized as foreign substances and often contain dangerous ingredients to mimic the properties that nature built into botanicals. So essential oils are composed of very, very tiny molecules, making them extremely concentrated. So one drop of essential oil contains approximately 40 million trillion molecules. Numerically, that is four with 19 zeros after it. And you can see that number at the bottom of the page there, which is insane. So since we have 100 trillion cells in our bodies, one drop of essential oil contains enough molecules to cover every single cell in our bodies with 40,000 molecules. Because the molecular structure of the essential oils is so small, they can penetrate our skin, enter our bloodstream, and can support the internal organs of our body. So when inhaling an essential oil, it travels through our nasal passage to a receptor neuron that transports it up to our limbic brain, which is our mind's control center for emotions, mood, and memory. So that's right. The oil molecules go up inside your brain just from smelling it. And because the molecules are so small, essential oils can penetrate the blood-brain barrier, which is part of why they're so effective for therapeutic use. Within 20 minutes of being placed anywhere on our skin, essential oils will penetrate and affect every cell within our bodies. This is why using the highest quality oil possible is just a non-negotiable. So a lot of people ask how fast essential oils work. Well, in 22 seconds, the molecules reach your brain. In two minutes, they'll be found in your bloodstream. And in 20 minutes, they'll affect every cell in your body. So repeat after us, not all essential oils are created equal. Let's discuss why young living. So we love, we love, sorry, that essential oils are all the rage and are no longer considered weird hippie voodoo. All sorts of brands of essential oils can now be found everywhere from grocery stores to pharmacies, promising all kinds of things. But the problem is you don't actually know what's inside those bottles. So they might be diluted, impure, or not even what they're claiming to be at all, because there's no label laws, by the way. So price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Young Living Oils may cost a little more than those cheapy oils on the shelf at the shops, but let's break down why this is and how they are an amazing value. And once you understand the difference, you, you need to know that you are not cheap and you just deserve the best. So we say put down that 75 rand bottle of lavender oil. Today, many essential oil manufacturers make synthetic oils in a lab that smell exactly like the plant that they claim to be from. Your nose doesn't know the difference, but your body does. And there's a recent statistic that shows that 
France, for example, actually puts out four times the amount of lavender essential oil than what is actually harvested. So that tells you that they're manufacturing a lot of that in a lab. So unfortunately, the essential oil industry is highly underregulated, and there are many tricks of the trade used to mass produce inexpensive oils. Essential oils can be cut with synthetics. Floral waters can be labeled as essential oils, and they can also be extracted from plants using toxic solvents that actually leave a chemical byproduct in your oil. And the list really goes on. So these products will not help you have a healthier body, mind, or home. Instead, they can be quite dangerous to your health. So now let's talk about what Young Living does. So they have what they call a seed to seal quality commitment, okay? So it's not just a slogan, it's a calling. And to understand what that actually means, seed to seal means that from the time the certified non-GMO seeds are chosen, in other words, non-genetically modified, and are handpicked to the time that each bottle is sealed, every single step of the process is painstakingly controlled 100% by Young Living, every single step. So we have three pillars of seed to seal. We have sourcing, science, and standards, which ensure that the farming, harvesting, distillation, legal compliance, and quality testing of the essential oils produced by Young Living are all done without compromise. It also ensures that we care deeply for our earth, our farms and plants, and the employees and communities that surround them. So Young Living is truly this, the original essential oil company, bringing pure oils from the soil to the oil since 1994. So it's a process that takes years to begin and far more to perform. Effect. So seriously, why settle for anything less than the original and the best? So we say, see for yourself, you know, Young Living is the only large essential oil company in the world that owns or partners with each of their farms and distills all their oils on site. So this company has nothing to hide. And or contraire, they're actually so open and so transparent that their farms and distilleries around the world are open to the public where you too can see their commitment to quality and sustainability with your very own eyes and stick your hands in the dirt. And actually, it's rather magical. And it's true. I've been to the farm in Hawaii, which is the, the Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood Farm. I've been fortunate enough to go to the one in Mona, Utah, and in Croatia, where they're all kind of producing different things. And they are incredible. You learn so much. It is just a, a truly magical experience. So you know how a, a really good way to understand what this means is, you know, when you go to a healthy, open kitchen restaurant and you order, let's say, the salmon and you want it cooked in olive oil, okay, not butter, because maybe you have a dairy allergy or you're watching your fat content, whatever it is, but you want it cooked in olive oil, you can look and see in the kitchen that they are absolutely using olive oil and they are preparing your salmon for you exactly as you asked. So this is exactly the same thing that Young Living is doing. They have an open door philosophy, and we really do encourage you to visit our farms, to our distilleries, participate in a harvest, meet the people and feel the true passion for the plants and mother nature yourself. So we do have a website here, which is, you know, hello essentialscom forward slash farm stories. And you can watch a series of videos about the incredible people behind our farms. So just to talk a little bit more about why our essential oils are so unique and very different to anything that anyone else out there is producing, we go beyond organic. So here's the deal with certified organic labeled products. As an example, in the USA, the USDA is a government agency for the dairy, meat, and agriculture industry, and they regulate what gets labeled certified organic. So EcoCert is a similar regulatory agency in South Africa that certifies environmentally friendly and socially conscious practices. However, neither agency has any regulations surrounding the specific harvesting, distilling, or testing of essential oils. So the next time you want to ask, is this oil organic? What you should really ask is, how was this oil produced from start to finish? So we like to say that Young Living goes beyond organic because they follow all organic practices plus more. How's that? So put those nerdy specs back on, and here is a little bit more about how they go beyond organic. So number one, in order to be USDA certified organic, the USDA requires that land must have had no prohibited substances applied to it for at least three years before the harvest of an organic crop. Young Living goes 
beyond organic and also does a full chemical analysis of the soil to test for any chemicals present in the PPB, which is part per billion level that may have been there for more than three years ago. Because of this, many of our Young Living Farms started on virgin soil to ensure absolute purity. The next thing is that the USDA certified farms allow for approved synthetic chemicals for crop, crop pests, weeds, and disease control, whereas Young Living simply does not allow any Young Living, sorry, they don't allow any of those, okay? So they control pests with essential oils, and they do all weeding naturally by hand, by machine, by planting specific plants in between crop lines, and even by using a particular breed of sheep that eats the weeds and not the crop. Another point is the USDA requires continual testing of the soil on farms, whereas Young Living does continual testing of the soil and of the water and of the air that's on our farms in order to avoid additional environmental pollutants. So each farm is located very far away from major cities. Point four is that every Young Living farm has an organic composting yard that plant matter from distillation goes into. So there's no waste. Five million tons of compost is used annually on our field. We also have organic worm farms on each farm where liquid worm castings and composted plant materials are used as fertilizer. Microbes and enzymes are injected to further enrich the soil. Spring or, aqu or aquifer water is used on the plants, never, ever, ever municipal water. And finally, Young Living insists that 100% of our products are organic. When something is USDA certified organic, the content must only be 95% organic. So that's shocking, but it's true. All right, and here I just want to show you guys, this is really cool. These are some members sharing Northern Lights Black Spruce, which we're very excited. That is brand new. It's a new product here in South Africa. We've been waiting for that. So it actually gets exposed to the Northern Lights. It makes its frequency really high because of that. But what's really cool about this is Young Living cares about things that are not even on the radar of EcoCert, like plant energy and frequency. So this means that when Young Living farmers or those on a tour are out in the fields, everyone's mood must be positive. No swearing is allowed near the plants and positive vibes and energy must be given to the crops so that they flourish and grow the way nature intended. We promise that EcoCert doesn't have a rule anywhere that states no F-bombs can be dropped on an organic farm. Young Living is a global company with farms across every continent except Antarctica. And because each country has different organic certifications, there's no universal global organic certification. And because our crops are grown all over the world, we cannot label our bottles as organic. However, our standards truly are beyond the organic certification of any country in the world. Okay, so I'm going to move on from here and go into our three methods of use. So with essential oils, there are actually three schools of thought. There was the French method, the German method, and the English method. So the English method stated that essential oils are lovely and wonderful, but should only ever be used aromatically, meaning we can only smell it, or we could like put it in a diffuser and just inhale it. That's it. And then the Germans came along and said, actually, no, we believe that if you can use an essential oil aromatically, it's totally safe to use it topically as well, as long as you're doing it safely with a carrier oil, which we'll talk about. So they believe in using essential oils aromatically and topically. And then the French came along and said, well, actually, if you are distilling them the correct way, not all of the plants will be safe to use this way, but we believe that you can use essential oils aromatically, topically, and internally. So Gary Young, who's the founder of Young Living, actually worked with a French, brilliant, brilliant person who does, um, who had, they, they built a distillery, oh, sorry, a distillery together in France. And that's where our first distillery actually was. So they believe in using essential oils internally, as well as aromatically and topically. Okay, so research shows that the pure constituents in therapeutic grade essential oils stimulate olfactory receptors and activate regions in the brain's limbic system. So remember how we spoke about that earlier? That's associated with memory, emotion, and consciousness. So truly simply inhaling a certain oil can ease daily stresses and emotional ups and downs. So the two ways we use our essential oils aromatically is inhalation or diffusing. So with inhalation, you can place one or two drops of your chosen oil into your palms with a few drops of carrier oil. Now carrier oil are going to be things like 
grapeseed oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, most of the oils you find in your kitchen. But with essential oils, our favorite ones, Young Living does have a beautiful one called V6 that has six different vegetable oils in it, hence V6, like vegetable six. And the, the second favorite that I have is an MCT oil that you can find at like Wellness Warehouse or other whole food, like other health food stores. So you would place one to two drops into the palms of your hand with a few drops of carrier oil, cup your hands over your nose and mouth, close your eyes, and then inhale slowly. So we call that an aromadome or a scent tent. These are just fun little words that we have. The other way is diffusing. So Young Living diffusers propel essential oil molecules into the air where they stay long after the diffuser turns off. Certain oils can help purify the air while others may help boost your energy, help increase focus or promote a more restful sleep. So along these lines, I just want to mention again, not all diffusers are created equally. And since essential oils became such a trend, there are so many companies companies that are making these cutesy little diffusers. The problem is it's not medical grade plastic. And that is a concern when we are using brilliant, incredible essential oils like Young Living has, then you are actually going to leach those toxins from that diffuser and put those petrochemicals in the air. So again, not only are you not getting the benefit of our oils, you're actually getting harmful stuff along with our oils. So you don't want to do that. And you do want to have a good quality diffuser. We also have a one-year warranty on them, by the way, and they're pretty easy to use. They're all fun, different color settings, noise settings, all sorts of things. So I did want to mention that. And then also South Africa, something I've noticed is people love to put the little tea light and they love to like light that little candle and burn essential oils in salts or whatever it is. Please know that anytime you're adding heat, you're actually breaking down the properties of the essential oil. So now you're not going to get the full benefits. That is so important. Okay. So anyway, that's aromatic use. The second use and way that we use essential oils is topical use. So many essential oils can be applied directly to the skin, even neat with no dilution or diluted with the carrier oil. So applying oils to a specific location can be the best way to target areas in need. For example, Dajai's rubbed onto the belly to help support normal digestion or pan away, which stands for pain away, massaged into sore muscles after a good workout. Sometimes we apply oils to Vitaflex points, similar to reflexology points on our feet, and they make their way throughout the body and to every cell within minutes. The reason that we put it on our feet, by the way, is we have the largest pores under our feet. So applying an immune supporting oil like thieves to your feet or relaxing or a relaxing oil like lavender to your wrists before bed is an example of topical use. So again, we have two ways to use oils topically. One is direct, which is where we take the essential oil, put it in the palm of our hand, add a bit of carrier oil if necessary. And then you can apply to the desired location and massage into your skin. You may choose to also layer essential oils. For maximum effect, let each oil soak in before applying the next. Also super important, another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is we have a term called hot oils. So some of our essential oils are considered hot oils. And what that is, is something like peppermint, thieves, cinnamon. These are going to have a bit of a hot sensation on the skin and it could potentially like irritate and like burn the skin not a burn like a you would get from fire but it aggravates the skin a lot so this is important that with those essential oils you're definitely diluting them okay so you're diluting it with carrier oil so um, that's the one way. The second way is with a roller. And what's great with making rollers is that you can actually have this little pocket pharmacy, which is what I have in my purse. So I use, I have rollers that I have pre-made and they're fantastic. I have one for pain. I have one for my kids getting boo-boos and owies, which quite frankly, I also use quite a lot if I get a little cut or a bruise myself. Um, you also can use it for like, as I said, headaches, I used to have one for period pain. I don't need it anymore, which is awesome. So that's really interesting too, is you find your body does a huge shift in a positive way. So anyhow, with rollers, you can add, for example, 10 drops of an essential oil or a blend of oils to a roller bottle and fill it with a carrier oil, making sure to achieve or exceed the minimum dilution ratio of the original bottle label and you gently swirl before use. So if you look here at the top right of my picture, that's kind of what a roller bottle looks like. Okay. 
So then final method of use is internal use. So not all oils should be used internally. In fact, most essential oils you'll find in a health food, stay, food store actually say not for internal use right on the bottle. Often other essential oils are cut with toxic chemical fillers and still labeled as 100% pure. So always research your essential oil company. Young Living, of course, has our seed to seal process and that ensures precise control of our oils from beginning to end. So there's never, ever, ever anything added or anything taken away. And you can be assured that the ingredients listed on the bottle are the only ingredients inside. Because of this, Young Living oils labeled as vital can be added to a glass of water, a spoonful of honey, a capsule, or drop directly into your mouth. So a quick little note here. In South Africa, we actually cannot claim or state that we can take our essential oils internally. That is for a law in South Africa that we are working with to be able to make those claims. But what I want to tell you is I have been using and ingesting Young Living Essential Oils for five years now, because in the United States, we don't have that same law. And so what happened in the US is they actually took our essential oils to the FDA to ask for the permission to actually label our oils as safe for internal use. Again, not all of them are. There's about 47 that are, because some are just not to use internally. For example, wintergreen. Wintergreen could be toxic if you ingest a whole lot of it at one time. So we just don't use it at all internally, okay? So anyway, they took oils like lavender, peppermint, lemon, orange, etc. And they showed all the constituents and went to the FDA and said, we'd actually like you to approve that we can state that we can use these essential oils internally. And the FDA said, yes, we agree you can. However, no product that is on a shelf can ever be listed as safe for topical, internal, and aromatic use. You cannot have three methods of use. You're only allowed two. Therefore, you need to relabel those ones that are safe for internal use. So in the United States, they created the Vitality range. So you will see that the bottles, like the picture that I have of my daughter in one of those first pictures, it's white on the background and then says that the instead of the color label. So that's what Young Living had to do to satisfy the FDA's requirement. However, what is inside a lemon vitality bottle and what is inside a regular label lemon essential oil of Young Living is exactly the same thing. So they didn't go and change something to make it safe for internal use. It's the same essential oil. I hope that makes sense. So in South Africa, we don't get vitality oils, but you can, if you know of someone in the United States and you wanted that label, you can go ahead and get it. What I like to tell our South Africans is that we know the ones that are labeled Vitality, and I can share that image with any of you if you'd like, that you, you refer to that image and then you know, okay, this oil is safe for internal use. So if you have the color label, totally fine, okay? So you can take these two ways internally. One is in a capsule. And with a capsule, you would add the desired essential oil into a vegetable capsule. You top it with carrier oil. My favorite one to use here is going to be olive oil. And then you would take that with, with water. The other way is water or food. So this is a really nice way to, to flavor your foods. And you could add one to three drops of essential oil to a glass of water or tea. I'm actually having that right now in my tea over here. So I have a cup of rooibos tea here. And what I've done is I've put one drop of thieves and two drops of lemon and I've put honey. So you put honey in the mug first one drop of thieves essential oil, two drops of lemon, and then you fill it with some lukewarm water, never hot because you don't want to break down those properties. Also, you can put it onto your rooibos tea bag and then make yourself the tea. So this is an immunity boosting tea. That's what I'm having right now. Okie dokes. So let's move over to the essential oils and some of their uses. So just to mention, if I had to talk about all of our essential oils, Young Living has over 200. So we'd be here seriously for four hours. So I'm going to focus on our most versatile essential oils and the ones that come up all the time. So starting with lavender, kind of like the gateway way oil. Lavender is brilliant for sleep, for stress. We say happy spring. That's actually for allergies. So any allergy issues, we're going to use that one together with lemon and peppermint. For eyelashes, it actually helps to promote lash growth. 
for skin, any type of issues with skin, like rashes or things that you don't really know. By the way, also for burns. So up to a third degree burn, you can use our lavender. But what is so important is that does not apply for any lavender. In fact, there is a species of lavender where if you use it on a burn, it will encourage the burn. So ours, which is lavender augustfolia, it's got like its Latin name. So that's the species of this lavender, which is safe to use for up to a third degree burn. Again, I can only vouch for Young Living because I know and trust that they are so incredibly good about making sure that it's only essential oil that is in this bottle. Also brilliant in a bath for a nice relax and unwind. But remember, you must put it in Epsom salts. Don't just put oils into water. It's going to sit at the top of the water and kind of aggravate your skin a bit. If you do want to flavor your water, though, you can put it in a glass or in a stainless steel bottle and you need very little of the essential oil that are so potent remember 19 million trillion molecules in there so also good for hair and scalp it's very lavender is amazing if you have a dry scalp um, or even for cradle cap okay peppermint so peppermint is fantastic for digestion it is so great for nausea or motion sickness. I know of a lot of people who had cancer treatments and in doing chemo and things like that, they get very nauseous. They literally will sit with a bottle of our peppermint and just be inhaling it just to help them. I've also watched other people that get car sick or on a small airplane when I took my friend from the States and we were doing a, a, a game reserve and we were taking off. Oh my gosh, there was so much like turbulence. She was definitely not coping so much with that so she was just sitting huffing that peppermint bottle she was totally fine and we we made it through and she felt much better also lovely for fresh breath if you don't want to chew chewing gum which actually is plastic but anyway I won't get into that so it's a really nice way to freshen your breath without um having gross chewing gum um also good for sore muscles you can dilute it and apply to help sore muscles and joints for flavoring food lovely to add to baked good goods and extend flavoring and your extend shelf life of your foods so please know that when you are flavoring food you're not going to get the benefit of peppermint so peppermint is amazing for headaches by the way so you can't go and have a peppermint brownie and say oh well this one's for my headache it doesn't work like that okay so remember that if you are adding any heat to our essential oils, we're not going to get those beneficial properties. It's just to flavor. Also, peppermint is our wake up essential oil. That together with lemon is such a lovely thing to diffuse in the morning to promote energy and alertness. It also curbs your appetite. So you can ingest it in a capsule to curb appetite and lessen the impulse to overeat. Lemon. So when life gives you lemons, use lemon oil. So here's a fun fact about our lemon oil. It actually comes from the rind of lemons, making it alkaline. So most of us know about oh the benefit of squeezing half a lemon in water. The problem with that is it's quite acidic and it's actually bad for the enamel of your teeth. So one drop of lemon essential oil is going to give you those 19 million trillion molecules. It's going to alkalize your system. You're going to get all the brilliant properties of what lemon offers you and you'll naturally detox so it's a really nice way to flavor your water and get the benefits so it's really good for clarity as well like mental clarity and help uplift your mood for heartburn you can add it to a glass of water to reduce heartburn your dishwasher to refresh it it's so awesome to put like a couple drops in the part where you put the soap usually which helps to remove hard water spots as well for your gums it's a great thing to help support a healthy mouth a laundry boost, you can add a few drops to your white wash because it is a brilliant stain remover. So a lot of us put like a drop of lemon on stains and it really lifts them right out. Gum and grease, you can also remove it with lemon oil. So if you have things like crayons or gum or what, or you have like any kind of grease or something sticky, use lemon oil. So for me, I was just taking off my daughter's um plaster that she had on her and it left all that black sort of sticky residue you just take lemon and rub it in or you know those tattoos that kids like to put on them and it leaves all that yucky after like two three days it looks awful like this black hideous marking stuff you just put a drop or two of lemon it takes it right off citronella 
So this is in our South Africa premium starter bundle as well because of things like malaria and also because our insect repellents are so full of toxins. Most of them have something called DEET in them and that is very, very toxic. So citronella is a brilliant natural alternative. You can diffuse it and you can put it on your skin. It also is great to freshen air and eliminate odors. Also brilliant for inflammation. So you can use it topically on sore or tired muscles or anywhere that feels like you have inflammation. And like I said, the sore muscles there. So frankincense, this is the part that I think it's incredible that we get this in our starter bundle. So this essential oil is like, it really is like a holy essential oil. For those of you who might be Christian, you know that this was one of the gifts given to the baby Jesus. So it is really quite special. So baby Jesus was given myrrh, frankincense, and gold. And we feel that frankincense is like gold because it is such a remarkable essential oil and how it works and what it does. I can also share with you guys openly because I'm not a doctor and I'm not diagnosing anyone or anything, but I can tell you that this essential oil has been incredible for people who have cancer and also at preventing cancer. So frankincense looks for cells that are not functioning in the way that they should be and looks to correct them. Okay, so it's brilliant for concentration, one or two drops in the back of your neck to help improve concentration. Great for healthy nails, you can put on your cuticles and on your nails. Flawless skin. So this is Botox in a bottle, by the way. So Botox is a toxin, not judging anyone. I'm just saying that that's what it is. But a really nice, healthy alternative is a drop of frankincense in your night cream. Really amazing. And you will see those beneficial results to that. Also great for stress. You can put on your temples and on your wrists. A lot of people use frankincense for prayer, meditation, meditation yoga, any sort of ritual where you're trying to get focused and grounded, you want to use frankincense. It's very uplifting to your mood. And it's also incredible for a good deep sleep. You can diffuse it with lavender because this was used in the United States. South Africa, weird labeling law. They wouldn't let us put the word stress on our bottle. So it's YL Haven. Same thing, just a different label. Okay purification because sometimes life stinks so purification has citronella lavender lemon grass rosemary myrtle and tea tree a really really beautiful oil and the best way that i remember this essential oil is it purifies the air hence purification but it also prevents infection i have used this to prevent a uti many a time and I've been successful in the past I've had to go on antibiotics several times I have not touched an antibiotic since we have used essential oils also fantastic if one of your children might be getting an ear infection or their ear is just hurting we don't put essential oils in our orifices so you can just put it on the outside of the ear like this it's a really really brilliant trick and also on lymph nodes so if you wake up you have a sore throat you put a drop on in the palm of your hand and you actually put it on the outside of your throat like that okay so it's great to purify the air as well it will neutralize odors you can put a drop on a cotton wool and throw it in your rubbish bin or in a nappy pail if you still have babies brilliant for insect bites or even a pimple you can just put a drop neat onto that to either stop the itching of the bite or to get rid of that zit or pimple. It does repel insects. I have passed this around when in Mexico and we were all being eaten alive. The whole table who used this were not bitten. Everyone else, it was like an outdoor dinner. Like, I don't know why they did this to us. I think they're trying to punish us or something. But anyway, we all survived and weren't bitten. And so we saw everyone else the next morning at breakfast, scratching and scratching. And it was very cool to actually watch that and see. Um, I mean, I felt bad for them, but I mean, it was amazing to see the difference that none of us were bitten. It's also really good for blemishes. So if you get any pigmentation over here and often people who have been pregnant or even just as we age, we get some sunspots and such, put it on, but do it the night in the night because this is a photosensitive essential oil, meaning it attracts the sunlight. So we don't want to burn from it. Okay. So whenever you're using purification on the skin, stay away from the sunlight. Valor. Oh my gosh. This oil, this is why we say rainbows and unicorns because it has black spruce, blue tansy, camphor, frankincense, and geranium. It smells insanely good. So it's brilliant for tension. 
it actually has the same frequency as bones, by the way. So a lot of us call this a chiropractor in a bottle. That's why alignment is there is one of the things that it's brilliant for. You can apply it on the spine for things like scoliosis and such. It'll help preserve alignment. So it's really very uplifting for your mood. You can inhale it from the bottle to promote confidence and courage. Really great for sleep. By the way, if you have a snorer or you yourself are a snorer, great tip, you put one drop on your big toe before bed. It will help to stop them snoring. I've done it on my hubby. It works. So try it. It's the weirdest thing, but it works. Also really great for stress. If you are at a job and you want to ask for a promotion or it's time and you feel anxious or you are a child and it's your first day at school, or you have to do a public speaking stint and that's like not your thing, use Valor before. Take three nice deep breaths. and gives you confidence and calming. So it's a really great oil for that purpose. Okay, orange. So orange is going to be a mood uplifter. Any of our citrus oils really uplift your mood. So I love this one in the afternoons when my kids come home and sometimes there's a bit of sibling rivalry. I will just go diffuse orange. I don't say anything. And I'm telling you, everyone's like in a better, more chilled mood. So it's also great for flavoring foods. Ladies, this is good for you. It is an aphrodisiac. You would apply it to your upper inner thighs. So it does not go on private parts, just your upper inner thighs. And by the way, if you're interested, we actually have done classes on libido and hormones and all sorts of things. We have oils for all of those things too. So I'm happy to share that with anyone who wants to learn more. And then for sleep, um, orange is actually also really helpful if you want to diffuse it with lavender. Thieves, I love this essential oil. So many people ask, why in the world is it called thieves? Well, thieves comes from, the, the name comes from during the time of the 16th century, there were a group of thieves that were stealing clothing or jewelry from dead or dying bodies of the Black Plague. And the king heard about these thieves and he ordered for their capture. And at that time, they would just behead people who were stealing. So the king said, I will spare your lives if you tell me what you are doing to stay alive and how this is working. So they said, well, we come from a long line of apothecaries or, you know, we're spice merchants. And so we know that when we blend clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, and at that time, pestle and mortar, rubbing on their bodies, wearing a balaclava, we don't contract this virus. We, we're not getting sick. So the king said, that's very amusing. Show me the ways. And if this works, your life will be spared. So he did. And him and his family survived, as well as many people in the town of England. It's called Buckleberry. So it's not just a um, cutesy fairy tale. It was very true. And so Gary Young, who started Young Living, was very passionate about creating this immunity blend to help us prevent things like colds, bacteria, flus, all of these things. And um, he created this proprietary blend. So it's actually a trademark name. And this is also why Thieves goes into all of our cleaning products. So it's because of killing germs and bacteria, but we do it in a non-toxic way. So our Thieves multi-purpose cleaner, as an example, is safe to use on the floor, which is awesome because your pets and your little ones are walking on the floor. So you're actually getting immune benefit, like benefits, and you've seen your pets licking their paws. Think of if you're using toxins on the floor, they're just licking that and getting all of those horrible chemicals. And sadly, those are all endocrine disruptors as well. So it's really awesome to know that our Thieves Multipurpose Cleaner, which is quite dilute, uh, quite concentrated, you use very little and it goes a very long way. In fact, I usually buy mine once every six or seven months. That's how long it lasts me. And we have a fairly large-ish house to clean with the floors and the windows. We do it one product for all of that, stove cleaning everything. So it's quite nice. We have a lot of different products, by the way. But anyway, back to focusing on the essential oil thieves. Um, it's great for immunity, of course. We make a thieves tea like I spoke about earlier. Great for headaches. You'd actually put a drop on your thumb like this and place it on the roof of your mouth. For overall wellness, you can put it on your spine twice daily to support wellness. Remember, it's a hot oil, so it's going to feel a bit tingly. You might want to dilute it with a carrier oil. 
And if you have a scratchy throat, you can actually even put a drop at the back of your throat. It really helps. It kind of numbs it. Eucalyptus, say, take me to the spa because it smells amazing. So it helps to breathe easier. It opens respiratory channels for head pain, um, as in headaches as well. It's really great for congestion. So this for my family was our VIX replacement. Sadly, VIX is very, very toxic. So it's very, very easy to make your own chest rub. When you're making rubs and things or ointments, you're going to want to use coconut oil, like the cold, hard-pressed kind. So I'm going to be touching on some of those things in the next class that I'm doing on the 22nd. You guys are welcome to join that to just learn how we actually use and make things and a lot of other tips and tricks, okay? Also really great for cleaning. Okay, moving on. So Young Living is really a company that's based on generosity and giving back. So we have um, a a nonprofit organization it's called the young living foundation that we can actually contribute towards and it's incredible what they do for example there's a place in uganda called soul hope an organization i mean it's a nonprofit, and young living basically funds and does everything also they have whatever they um whatever you donate they get 100% of those proceeds go to the cause. So there's absolutely no admin fees, by the way. And as an example, in your, in Uganda, they found that people were getting these little jiggers on their feet and they were not able to work or go to school. And sadly, the people of the town felt that if you got this, you were cursed by your ancestors and they would actually outcast their family members. I mean, even if they were children, like some of these children were actually orphaned over this problem. So Young Living came in there with proper doctors and all the correct natural treatments basically cured the jiggers. They help and give them that's why it's called soul hope because they actually give them shoes and teach them and talk about why it's so important to wear shoes so they don't get this bacterial type of infection that then the jiggers come in and infect and make it way worse and taught the people there it's it can happen to anyone try to kind of break their cultural belief that it's an you know it's the ancestors cursing you and try to actually educate them on it's actually just, it could happen to anyone. So this is why we feel you all need to try and wear shoes. They're obviously very grateful and Young Living still continues to do that. So they do incredible things, the Young Living Foundation. But um, the other thing that we have, by the way, is a program called Essential Rewards that Young Living offers. This is their loyalty program. And what's so great about this loyalty program is that it's a place where you can buy a lot of the things that you need in one place. It comes straight to your door and there are perks of purchasing this way. So you can actually repurchase product two ways. It's either Essential Rewards or a quick order, which is like a one-time order. But Essential Rewards is awesome because they offer several perks. One, it's fully customizable. And like I was kind of touching on not just essential oils, but we sell things like toothpaste, body soap. Um, we have a bath and shower gel. We have all sorts of products. We have all the cleaning stuff. And it's basically living a non-toxic lifestyle. So you can switch things over slowly that you want, and it's fully customizable. So you can also cancel it at any time because it's not about trying to be on some sort of subscription at all. It's actually the company recognizing, thank you for being loyal and choosing our products. We want to give more back to you. So it's super convenient. Like I said, you order these things online and it gets delivered to your doorstep. It's actually very flexible as well. So if you want a product sooner within the month, you can change the date. If you want things later in the month, no problem. And you also get reward points. So kind of like clicks, or um, wellness warehouse, where every time you shop, you actually get, you get to accrue points. So you get to then later redeem that for free product, which is really awesome. So I always keep a wish list of things that I want. The requirement is 50 PV per month, and they do allow you to do a skip month. 50 PV stands for product value, and that is about 750 Rand. But anyway, I have more on essential rewards. I have a whole class. So if you want to learn more, I can happily share that with you guys. Um, and then we just talk about transfer buying, which is instead of going to wellness warehouse and buying your toothpaste, your body soap, your 
all the products that you'd want from there, you buy it through Young Living and you actually get discounts and awesome promos. You get products for free. So it's a really fun, awesome program. So as an example, this month in June, this kind of shows you that if you are purchasing here on Essential Rewards, when you spend or if you spent 100 PV, which equates to about 1,500 Rand, you get a Cedarwood for free. If you spend 120 PV, you get the Cedarwood and a Thieves Sanitizer. If you spend 150 PV, you get the Cedarwood, Sanitizer and Bath and Shower Gel and so on and so forth. So if you did, if you chose to spend a lot in, one, in this month, you're going to get all of these things if you spend 300 PV, okay? So that was just to kind of give you an idea of how that works. And then this month, celebrating our dad's and father's day, we have some bundles. So there is, these are like some examples of this. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I really wanted to try and get through a lot of our stuff here by the end of tonight. So I'm happy to share these with you guys as well later if you want. These are our two new oils that are in the South African market, which is super exciting. And this brings me to this page, which is the premium starter bundle. This is how you would get started. So over here, you could actually choose your diffuser. The premium starter bundle comes with all of those 10 oils that I spoke to you guys about. Frankincense, lemon, thieves, vela, lavender, eucalyptus, purification, citronella, orange, and peppermint. If you were to buy all of those and a diffuser, it would cost you 4,030 Rand. So it's an amazing deal. You, it gets wholesaled and bundled in one purchase and you get to choose between the Ember Diffuser and the Desert Mist Diffuser for 2,268 Rand. So as, and it also gives you a wholesale account. Now you don't ever have to buy anything more if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. But if you did, you're going to get wholesale pricing. So that's really awesome as well. And it also comes with a bonus gift, which is quite cool. This is new to South Africa only. And you get a Ningxia red drink, which is a superfood. It's an antioxidant drink. You also get some of that V6 carrier oil I spoke about, an empty roller bottle so you can start using your oils and making things, some sample bottles, and that's an Aroma Glide fitment, which actually goes onto an essential oil and it can make it into a roller. And then we have in June, so these might be um, a little outdated, ignore that June one, but here's one, our oily how-to tips. We are going to talk about this one I was telling you guys about on Thursday, June 22nd. So we'll touch on cleaning your diffuser, making a roller, making capsules, storing your oil safely, how to use your empty bottles and such. So if you want that information, let us know. And then those of you in Johannesburg, there is an awesome workshop that's happening at the Young Living Experience Center. So the warehouse is in Joburg. We also have an experience center. So if you wanted to smell all the oils, see all the products, you can go there at any time and visit. And what's nice is if you did buy anything, you're not paying any shipping fees because they have it there for you. So it's, it's quite an experience. It's a beautiful space. And I really encourage those of you who are in Rudaput or close to go and visit. So there is this workshop going on there on June 24th. And then finally, in our team, which is called Hello Essentials, we have so many free resources. So all of you guys would have access to this. We have WhatsApp groups where you can, we share recipes and ideas. You can ask questions. We have a Facebook group called Hello Essentials South Africa, as well as a global one called Hello Essentials that has over 35,000 active people in there. And um, we have an Instagram account. You can follow us, please. We'd love that. It's at hello.essentials.south.africa. And on YouTube, you can search for me. It's Jade Elmale. There's my name. Note the two E's and the Y. And I have tons of, like it's a free library of oily education. So you can go ahead and watch whatever you want in your own time. A lot of the content I shared tonight is actually based off of this book, which I very, very proudly co-wrote. Um, and I love it. It was a labor of love. So yeah, this is also available if you wanted this book. Um, the, the website's mentioned. And then we also just share and talk about where you can get some supplies. I also love to gift anyone who is new or wants a premium starter bundle a welcome gift just to get them started so that they have some things that they might need so they can make some things and get cracking. And then that brings me to questions and answers. So I'm so sorry, I said 40 minutes and we've now hit the one hour mark. So I'm so grateful to you guys for hanging in there, listening to all of that. It's a lot of information, but I'm gonna actually stop the 
slides now and I am now available to you guys to answer any questions.